Hey guys, welcome to another college tour video where today I'll be talking about Will Rice. Quick obligatory message for all you newcomers. I've decided to work on a project to highlight one of the best things about Rice University, its residential colleges. This will be like a video series where I'll talk about each residential college and, you know, talk about its dorms, their culture, the students there, what they all do. Everything that you'd want to know when you come into Rice and I'll learn more about the residential colleges. And so I'm eager to get started, so let's just get going. Will Rice, the second residential college, is located near The Grove on the south side of campus. It was named after William Rice Jr., who was the nephew of Rice's founder. The layout of Will Rice is a little more spread out than most, with their dorms in multiple buildings designated as new and old sections based on, you know, when they were built. They have a separate commons which leads to the surgery, as well as an open field where much of their student activities happen. Well, I'm sure you guys all know the drill by now, so let's just head over to Will Rice and talk about their culture. Alright, hey guys, I'm at the Wiener Hole in Will Rice. Um, with me is Jackson Davis, he's a good friend of mine from Will Rice. Jackson, do you want to tell us about the culture there, or here I guess, the students, and you know, what we do here? Absolutely. So, thanks Gerald. Like you said, my name is Jackson. I'm a junior here at Will Rice. I'm studying economics and business, and Will Rice really is my home. It's my family. The one like tagline that Will Rice has associated with it is the College of Gods and Goddesses. So, obviously you can see the 10 other residential colleges kind of see us as conceited. I like to think of it more as confident, but um, yeah, we know, we're known as the College of Gods and Goddesses. And what comes with that is that we're super competitive in everything we do. Um, if you've seen the Love It video, they'll probably try to tell you that they're competitive, but no, Will Rice is the truly competitive college, and we're relevant on campus because we're mutually hated by all the other colleges. Um, I think a lot of other colleges maybe have rivals, like maybe Hanson and Weiss are rivals with each other, but for Will Rice, even if Lovett is kind of our rival, really the other 10 colleges are our rival just because we're the College of Gods and Goddesses. And um, we win, we're good at what we do, we, we win a lot of things. Our mascot is the Phoenix. Uh, so not only are we confident, but we're resilient. Believe it or not, there are occasional instances where we don't win. And if that's the case, we rise up from the ashes and uh, we, we see a new day. So not only confident, but also very resilient as, as, as Phoenixes. One of the main traditions, probably my favorite tradition here at Will Rice, is what we call Whale Day. And I believe it started about five years ago, and basically we have a blackboard at the front of the commons where we like, keep a calendar and you can write like, events and what's yeah. going on, either like Will Rice specific and also campus wide. And for some reason, there was uh, some type of marking on the blackboard that wouldn't come out. We tried everything and they, they couldn't get it off the blackboard. So basically, a senior at the time used that marking to draw a whale. And they just left the whale up for the rest of the year. And on that day, which is, oh gosh, the Will Rice are gonna hate me for this. I don't remember the exact day, it's sometime in September. But every year, now on, on that day, we basically make t-shirts that say Whale Day. We get a bunch of whale stickers and like decorations in the commons. And then on Perch, which is it's pretty close to where we are right now, it's in an Old Dorm on 4th and 5th floor, the balcony. We have a speaker there and we play whale sounds basically all day or at least like half of the day and all the other colleges get really annoyed at us so uh, whale day yeah that's a, that's a really fun tradition obviously beer bike we're super hyped about that but uh, not really Will Rice specific it's, it's a campus wide tradition although I will say at Will Rice we take it very seriously so now I'll give a basic rundown of the facilities here at Will Rice we have old dorm and new dorm um, obviously old dorm is older it was built about a hundred years ago I believe and um, it's still livable, it's been renovated since, thankfully, and it's maybe not as nice as New Dorm, but it, it's, it's still a lot of fun, it has a lot of culture. And on both Old Dorm and New Dorm, there are four floors. So in Old Dorm, floors one through three are comprised entirely of singles and doubles, mostly doubles, but a few singles here and there. And each of those floors has a bathroom as well, which is community style. And then fourth floor also has a few singles and doubles, but actually has two special rooms, which are, one is right by where we are right now, to the side of the Wiener Hole, it's called The Perch. Uh, it's a really popular spot on campus. They throw a lot of like private parties and stuff, but basically it's a quad and it hosts four people, two of which are on the fourth floor here, and then two more which live on the fifth floor on the, like, the balcony level. 
there's in, there's an indoor section to the balcony level. They don't sleep outside, but it's the only like fifth floor room here at Will Rice. And then the other special room here on fourth floor is called the piano room, which is also a quad. And um, every year it has four freshmen, typically boys. And I actually lived there my freshman year, and it gets its name because there's a piano in the room. It's super out of tune, but uh, it's, when you live there, it's really convenient if you just kind of like bang around and you know de-stress a little bit. So that's old dorm, and then. Across the quad, we have the new dorm, which is where I currently live. Like I said, it's also four floors. Um, every single room in new dorm is actually a double, and it has its own bathroom. So it's you know a little more convenient than a community-style bathroom, obviously, and uh, it's, it's a really beautiful space. It's actually architecturally really similar to new New Baker, and maybe McMurtry and Duncan as well. So no spoilers, <laughs> I'll get to those colleges in a later video, but um, I'm pretty sure they're the, the layout is almost exactly the same. And also each floor in New York features a lounge. It's kind of similar to what we're in right now, but um, it's in the center of each floor and it has a big whiteboard and it's a really good study space, uh, super close to like your room if you just want to like pop out there and to like, get some work done, but or maybe you don't work as well in your room because you get distracted. So. That's super convenient, I do a lot of studying in those lounges. And then aside from the dorms themselves, we also have a music room, which is on the first floor of the new dorm, complete with a laundry room like every other college. And then other study spaces here in old dorm would really just be here in the Wiener Hole, and there's a separate room across, which maybe we'll see you later, which is also part of the Wiener Hole, but it's, it's kind of like its own room that some people study in as well. And then obviously we have the commons, which maybe we'll get to see a little bit of as well a big open space, as well as a private dining room, what they call the PDR, which is good for meetings or dining in private, which doesn't really happen at, it, at all. I don't really know why they call it that, but that's just what it's called, and a lot of other colleges have something similar. We also have a game room in the commons where you can play Super Smash Bros, ping pong, foosball. There's also a pool table, you can do that. And I think we were actually ordering an air hockey table. At our student government last week, we actually voted on buying an air hockey table. And uh, they actually wanted to use my, my P card, like my purchasing card, yeah. but it has a thousand dollar limit and the table costs like more than that. So I don't know. Apparently we have money somehow. <laughs> We're buying that, so look out for that. And then the last room in the comments is the parlor, which is also another study space. It's kind of similar to the PDR, but it just has one big table, a few whiteboards. So we try to give our students like a lot of opportunities to study in their own spaces with you know, good amenities. All right, well, thank you, Jackson, so much for telling us about the culture here and, you know, the facilities as well. Uh, as you may know, next up is the dorms. So, let's go with Jackson and explore the dorms at Will Rice. Welcome to my crib here at 460 Will Rice. Uh, as you can see, plenty of decorations. I have uh, one poster and this hook. I don't even think that counts as a decoration. So one, I guess, but I have one more than my roommate. He has none. But um, anyway, basically every room here in both new and old Will Rice comes with a desk, um, a pretty big like dresser type thing with three drawers. Uh, and then another small dresser, which personally I keep like my socks, underwear, and like other toiletries in. And uh, yeah, obviously it comes with a bed frame and a mattress, but you have to provide your own sheets, pillows, and whatnot. And yeah, uh, I try to keep it pretty um, empty, as you can see, I guess. A lot of my friends make fun of me that my room looks like I'm moving out, which is not true. I'm here to stay for at least three more months until uh, the end of the semester. But yeah, that's basically the basic furniture that the college provides you. And as you can see, my roommate also has the exact same stuff. But um, furniture-wise, it's just arranged a little differently. So uh, you can also loft your bed if you'd like. Uh, these uh, supports can like move up and down the frame. And uh, you can actually stack these on top of each other. If you want to like loft your bed really high, that'll offer you some extra space if you want to like, store bins and whatnot. Uh, now we can go ahead and check out the bathroom. So it's, it's pretty spacious in my opinion, I don't know. We have a toilet, a shower here on the side, sink, basically everything you'd ever need. And um, it's just really nice that it's only shared among two people, which means that you know you never really have to wait or anything and you, you don't have the hassle of a community style bathroom. Then over here we have the dressers. Uh, sorry they're a little mess messy at the moment, but um, 
Yeah, this is where I keep all my clothes. My roommate keeps all his big jackets and stuff. Shoes, like I said, not too tidy at the moment, but um, I don't know, caught me on a bad day, I guess. But yeah, that's uh, the dresser, and that's about everything the room comes with. Uh, this fridge, I supplied on my own. So like I said, this is a double, which obviously means two people. And every single room here in New Dorm is a double, has two beds. But Old Dorm, by contrast, actually has a few singles, which means one bed. And um, usually new students don't get placed in these because um, it's kind of based on a seniority basis and a lot of seniors and juniors really want singles in their upperclassmen years. So they're usually the ones that get placed in the singles. Um, but along with the singles and doubles, like I previously mentioned, Will Rice also has two quads in the old dorm, which serve four people, four beds. So there's a chance that you'd end up there maybe um, as a new student as well. But, um, and like I previously mentioned, all those singles and doubles have community style bathrooms at the end of the hall in the old dorm. And there you have it, that's Will Rice. Before I end this video, I do want to give a big, big shout out to Jackson. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to show us your dorm and talk about Will Rice. And thank you guys so much for, you know, just watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Anyways, this marks the fourth in a series of 11 videos where I'll be talking about Rice's residential colleges. We're just two colleges away from talking about all the Southside colleges at Rice. So with all that being said, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.